All right. I am going to teach you today how to unlock a superpower. It's one that we all have inside us, but many of us have lost. My story begins 13 years ago when I started my company. It had been with pure joy and confidence and inspiration. You know that feeling when like everything is just working? You know that like, bam, this is good. You know that feeling? Well, fast forward to the fall of 2017 and I have completely lost that feeling. I am profoundly uninspired. My company is in crisis, we're out of cash. I've cut my salary to zero. I desperately needed to regain that feeling. Hacking happiness is how I regained that feeling, how you can too, and why that feeling is the superpower. It's the emotional conditions for success. This is a slide of my company's profit for the last seven years. You might notice a difference after the fall of 2017. <laughs> I didn't set out to make more profit. I set out only to fix my happiness. I didn't change our product or our team. I only worked inside myself. Uh, 2019 is going to be a record year as well. I, for me, the hacking began when I first realized the significance of this. This is the serotonin molecule. Serotonin is a neurotransmitter in the anchor chemical of our happiness. Serotonin is the feeling of joy and confidence and inspiration. Serotonin is self-actualization, that highest form of human achievement. When our serotonin is high, we are feeling that feeling. It's actually not just serotonin. There are four neurotransmitters that I came to care about. Each of these hormones, when they rise and fall in our bodies, creates distinct emotional states. These are the biology of our emotions. Serotonin is a happy chemical. When it's up, we're happy. When it's down, we're sad. Oxytocin is the love chemical. When I say, I love you, I am feeling oxytocin. It can feel super awkward to express love, especially in a work environment. But remember that love is not sex. Love is the intentional willing of well-being onto another person. You can love total strangers. And I love you. Remember that because I'm going to ask you later. <laughs> dopamine is different. Dopamine is the reward chemical. When we feel good after a win, that's dopamine. Dopamine is a high five, it's the score, it's the close of the deal. Dopamine is a powerful driver of human behavior, and it's addictive. So when we open social media a million times a day, we're chasing dopamine. Dopamine is conditional, you did good. Where oxytocin is unconditional, I love you. Cortisol is the villain in our story. Cortisol is stress, it's anger and fear. Cortisol. Cortisol tenses our muscles and it slows our digestion. It makes impulsive decisions. We make impulsive decisions. It, we store body fat. It stores body fat. Our bodies surge cortisol in an attempt to handle the crisis. They work in concert, too. So a few minutes here on stage, like, they're all firing. My cortisol is up to help me perform. My muscles are being mined for maximum energy. My attention is focused. But prolonged crisis wears us down. Prolonged cortisol exposure actually decreases our abilities to remember and think. It's catabolic, so it destroys our muscles and it makes us fat. Or how about this one in the, in the middle? Know anybody who is successful but kind of miserable? So much of that time... Yeah, I know you, VJ. Yeah, so much of that time... <laughs> So much of the time we are chasing dopamine, we are chasing the rewards of dopamine, and without the purposefulness 
and love of serotonin and oxytocin, it becomes hollow and uninspiring. Dana was here. I was here for years, and I didn't know it. This is the path to self-destruction, because then, then all of a sudden, we're over here. Modern life has our cortisol elevated all the time. It's traffic and TV news and the looming deadlines and the phone buzzing. All of these normal things trigger cortisol. Cortisol is, dis we're literally destroying our minds and our bodies with elevated cortisol. It creates a downward spiral of worse performance. The good news is we can interrupt that sp the spiral through purposeful actions, through hacks, we can create this. This is the superpower. This is that feeling. When I am in this happiness state, all the success flows. I'm more, I, I feel good, I'm more charismatic. I pick up the phone and make more calls. I solve problems faster and more clearly. Like all of the good things flow. Think for a moment about the most magnetic, charismatic, attractive person you know. And then think about this pattern. OK, Mike, I'm in. How do I hack my happiness? We're going to start with your serotonin. The first hack is a mindset concept that I call no coming and going. The basics are this. The brain and body have no ability to distinguish between inbound versus outbound happiness. There is no receiving love distinct from giving love. There is only the level of the hormone. That means to get serotonin, I simply give it to those around me. You are amazing. I love you. This no coming and going principle is why journaling is a powerful serotonin hack. The mind has no ability to conceive of joy, even in memories or fiction, without the corresponding serotonin levels. Therefore, to build my serotonin, I simply record my moments of joy. We write every day. My favorite journaling hack is an affirmations journal. Try this, first thing in the morning, write a few sentences or paragraphs of positive serotonin-filled affirmations. I, Mike Simonson, am super eager to give my energy to my customers and my employees today. I love to watch them succeed. The act of writing generates the serotonin. Our serotonin is like a magic gold mine where the act of digging creates more gold. This no coming and going principle is also why gratitude is such a powerful serotonin hack. Gratitude is an expression of serotonin. You, it is impossible to be grateful and anxious at the same time because of the serotonin. You can also hack your serotonin with your diet. In particular, there's a supplement, 5-HTP, where the T is tryptophan. It's a common amino acid in the basic building block of serotonin. Turns out that 95% of our serotonin is produced and stored in our gut. Therefore, it responds very rapidly to, to supplementation, often overnight. On to cortisol. Cortisol is bad. Meditation is the hack to lower your cortisol. When the crisis hits, the fear and the anger trigger the reptilian amygdala, part of our brain, which tells the adrenal gland to produce cortisol so we can jump into action. But our modern world has our cortisol elevated all the time. Meditation is the skill to calm that modern thinking, interrupt the amygdala so that cortisol signals fade away. The, the, all the latest research with high def MRIs and piles of studies on it all confirm meditation, mindfulness, transcendental meditation, Buddhist loving kindness, instantly and persistently lower our cortisol levels. You can also, so you can 
measure the change, the physical changes, like a physical workout. You can measure the changes in your bodies after just a few weeks of a meditation practice. The adrenal gland takes in cholesterol and it outputs cortisol and testosterone. So when your cortisol falls, your testosterone rises. In my case, in the fall of 2017, after a few months of my transcendental meditation practice, my cortisol had fallen so far that my testosterone, which I've measured every year for over a decade, is now 25% higher than it had ever been. And men and women, higher testosterone is the fountain of youth. You can also hack your cortisol with supplements, in particular two adaptogens, ashwagandha root and rhodiola. Both have uh, overwhelming cl clinical evidence showing their ability to help our bodies metabolize cortisol out of the system. On to oxytocin. Unlike cortisol and serotonin, you can't really hack your oxytocin with supplements. The good news is that oxytocin responds very rapidly to the no coming and going principle. That means to give myself the superpower, I merely give love out. For you, the first hack is to practice giving love to total strangers. You ready to say it with me now? I love you. Feel this, feel the, feel the oxytocin. You can, you can hack your oxytocin at work with a little love and magic in your staff meetings. Try this. Start meetings with a few minutes of positive, serotonin-filled conversation. Joy, confidence, inspiration. After a few minutes of gratitude and love, our cortisol is down, our serotonin is up, and then we are ready to tackle the hard problem. We then close the meeting with expressions of unconditional love, oxytocin. Ready? I love you. When you express love, remember that you're giving to the people around you the superpower. And more importantly, you are giving it to yourself. So how does this happiness state, this superpower, translate into success? I'll tell you a story. Fall of 2017, heart of my crisis, I get a voicemail from a longtime customer. Mike, call me. Oh, man, I, I can't take another hit. I can't, I can't call him back. I, I avoid him for weeks. Finally, morning meditation. I get up my nerve, I call him back, Mike, how do we add 100 employees to our account? Like, he wants to triple his business with me. When we are dominated by cortisol, we literally close ourselves off to the opportunities of the world. It's not always positive on that call either. We've all had this experience. It's a good week, we've had some good wins, the dopamine is up. It's Friday afternoon, and then we get the call from the irate customer. Boom, cortisol crashes, the cortisol floods, the dopamine crashes, all those wins from earlier in the week evaporate. Right? And then we spend the whole weekend in anxiety. When we are in this dopamine cortisol cycle, that's when we are vulnerable. Now imagine that through hacking happiness, you've built a powerful emotional foundation. Now when the, the irate customer calls, because they still come, now you have the support. We have elevated our performance to an entirely new level. It's at this point when the, the irate customer calls, it's the serotonin that says, I got you, man. We'll get it worked out. So these are the basics of hacking happiness. Remember the no coming and going principle. Understand why journaling and meditation are so powerful. Try some love and magic in your meetings. But if you remember only one thing today, remember this. I love you.